Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. I'm gonna be talking about makeup I'm glad I didn't spend my money on or beauty products I'm glad I didn't buy. Something along those lines. I'm not really sure yet what the title of this video is going to end up being. But basically I'm gonna be talking about items that I did receive in PR because of my career as a beauty influencer that I'm glad that I didn't purchase myself for one reason or the other. And I have a variety of different reasons that I wanna discuss about in this video. And I just thought it would be fun to chat about. So I think this is gonna go under my regret series. So I will link that playlist down below. I've done a video like this a few years ago also. And I believe I also put it under my regret series, but let's go ahead and talk about makeup i'm glad i didn't buy but i have but i didn't buy it but i own it okay all right welcome welcome so let me jump into the vegas lotd so today i just have on this dress so my last video i posted was a shop with me and it was a clothing haul with express and you saw that I got this dress in here. It's a really nice uh, like suede material dress and I love the color. Um, we had a bit of a change of plans. My desk is really messy behind me because I was actually going to film a get ready with me and <laughs> I was gonna do like this green reverse cat eye, smoky eye situation. And then some people at the complex where I live, they were like, who wants to go to a water park tonight? And because I'm 12 years old, I was like, so I figured a full bead with a full smoky eye and false lashes probably wasn't gonna work out the best for a water park so i tried to tone down my makeup but this is what i ended up with so i didn't film the makeup but it's pretty pretty simple i always link all of my makeup down below uh, and i thought this dress went nicely with this makeup look okay all right and then one more thing i'm actually just gonna draw a card from the deck of healthy habits i mentioned in my last will i buy it that i had some requests to draw a card if you didn't see i did launch my own brand recently that video will be linked down below and i came out with this card deck it's called the deck of healthy habits and there's 52 cards in here and each one has a different healthy habit on it and i draw a card twice a week usually at the beginning of the week and then at the end of the week and today that i'm filming is friday and i have actually not drawn on a card yet today so I want to draw one so I thought we could do it together and if you want to work on what the card says you totally can so we're just gonna draw this one. Oh, it's a nice card it says slow down that's actually needed for me I feel like this week I have just been whew, I feel like I've just been so tired this week so exhausted this week um, I've actually been taking naps almost every single day which I don't often do but I just feel like I've been go 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 um, with so many different things so slow down I love that card uh, so if you want to check out the deck of healthy habits it's available for sale uh, on my website which is chickletplus.com and that will all be linked down below but there's our little card to focus on Again, I'm not going to do it in every video, but in some videos, and because I still needed to draw a card today, I figured I might as well do it. Okay, so let's jump into it. Like I said, there's there's a variety of different reasons of why I chose each one, and I kind of wanted to have like a little, con you know me, I like to talk, so I wanted to have like a little conversation about each one, and I just, I thought that would be fun, but one of the first products that I thought about when I first uh, decided to do this video is because... This product just did not work out for me, but I almost bought it. There's a few in here that, that they were products that I was considering buying. I almost bought it, but it's a very pricey product. I ended up getting it sent to me in PR, and I'm, I'm glad that I did, because I'm glad I didn't buy it. It is the Tatcha the Silk Powder. This is $48. I actually thought it was more. Maybe I thought it was in the 50s, which 48, I mean, that's pretty close. So when this came out, I was trying to decide between buying the Tatcha powder and the Dior powder no powder. Kept going back and forth, but the Dior powder I believe is also is it in the 40s or the upper 30s. And so I was like, I, I shouldn't buy both. I only want to buy one. What should I do? Tatcha ended up sending this to me in PR. I went on to purchase the Dior. I think we all know how that story ended. I think we all know what happened. I absolutely fell in love with the Dior powder. I'm so glad that was the one that I purchased. I actually just repurchased another one because I've almost completely used up. I'm like scraping at the edges. Like I should just give it up. But I'm like scraping at the edges of my Dior powder, no powder. I have it on today. 
I absolutely love it. The Tatcha Silk Powder, I was so sad that I did not like it all because I like a lot of Tatcha products. So I was super shocked about this one. So this is a loose setting powder versus the Dior is a pressed powder. But this makes my face and my under eyes look so, so dry. And when I reviewed it in a video, I know some people said you just need like the super tiny amount. You need to like apply it a certain way. And I was trying all kinds of different ways, but I'm like... I cannot give this one to work for me, especially I'm very sensitive about my under eyes. Like I feel like in the last, I don't know, two, three years, my under eyes have like really gone downhill. And I just, when I use a powder that emphasizes the fine lines and the wrinkle and all of the things, I'm like, I just, I cannot handle this. And the Tatcha, I felt like made my skin look so, so bad. So especially with the higher price tag, I'm really glad that I didn't buy that one. Another one, this is a product that I almost bought myself and I don't mind it. It's not something that I dislike, but one reason that I wanted to do this video and I kind of went back and forth because I was like, I just know I'm gonna make some people mad that I'm talking about makeup that I received for free, that I'm glad that I, you know, didn't buy. Like I know that people are gonna get mad because people still get angry these days that beauty influencers have certain perks to a job, such as getting makeup and PR, which I don't know how we're not past that yet, <laughs> but apparently we're not. And it's just, it's something that's like very strange to me because so many jobs have different perks. There's a lot of downfalls also to being a beauty influencer. Just ask my mental health and the mental health of many other influencers out there. Uh, but one of our perks does happen to be getting PR. But one thing though is like we can't buy absolutely everything. We simply can't. I have fallen down that path before and I put myself into major financial debt that I'm still trying to get myself out of because I succumb to the pressures of wanting to show everything on my channel, of of thinking that my channel could only be successful if I was showing all the new things, of trying to keep up with other influencers who were receiving PR or who were buying things and then returning them to put them on their channel. I fell down that path of letting comments get to me of how come you never have new makeup and you always show the same stuff, you're boring. Like I let all of that get into my head at one point. But the truth is we can't buy everything nor should we want to buy everything, nor could our houses or apartments or townhomes or wherever we live, we can't have it all. Like it's just, it's not feasible. It's not feasible. Uh, so that was a, another point of discussion that I wanted to have with this video because sometimes I still get frustrated when I see comments of like, just talking about influencers getting stuff in PR and how it's not fair and how we're terrible people because of it. It's very strange. Think about all the careers that have amazing perks. Because <laughs> there's a lot that are so much cooler than getting free makeup, let me tell you, okay? Anyways, let me tell you about this next product. This is from Too Faced, and this is their Born This Way foundation. So, the reason why I decided to include it in this video was to also have that conversation, but because I was thinking about buying this one for the longest time. I heard so many people saying such good things about it. So many of my favorite beauty influencers constantly were talking about it, constantly were wearing it. And I was like, I feel like I should buy it. I feel like I should buy it. But it was one of those things where it was, I have such a big foundation collection and then there's new foundations coming out and I feel like I should review those new foundations. And then it just, uh, you know, it's like, a, it's like a whole thing. I ended up getting this sent to me in PR like way after it released. I didn't get it prior I didn't get it right at release I got it like a year or something afterwards and I decided to try it because I was so excited about it because I had wanted it for such a long time and I like it I think that it's a good foundation I think that it's okay it's a little bit more full coverage it's a little bit more on the mattifying side but personally I really love the Too Faced Born This Way concealer it's actually what I have on today just as my foundation I don't have any foundation on because again I might be like going down water slides later like the 12 year old I am. And so I didn't want to like have a ton of face makeup on either. I feel like I went a little bit overboard for a water park, but you know, it's fine. We'll, we'll make it work. It'll be fine. Uh, but I like the Too Faced Born This Way concealer so much more. I wear it as foundation all of the time. So oftentimes this one is getting neglected. So in the end, I'm glad that I didn't end up purchasing it myself. Um, but I mean, I purchased many other foundations around the time that I was thinking about buying this one. But uh, yeah, it's good. I'm it's like one of those like I'm glad that I have it, but it's not an absolute favorite by any means. These next products I'm a little bit sad about. I wanted to also uh, include something a little bit newer too in this video. 
These are from e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are the putty blushes and bronzers. I'm super bummed about these because I really, really wanted to like them and I had really, really high hopes for them. I've recently gotten into cream bronzers, cream blushes. I have like so many liquid products and cream products on my face right now. So when e.l.f. was coming out with these, I was like, they're more affordable, like that's amazing. And I just, I feel like they are such a big miss. The blush came out first and I have reviewed this on my channel. I've put it in like my cream ranking video also. And I just feel like when I apply it and no matter how I apply it, it like takes my foundation off. It doesn't blend in seamlessly to my skin. It doesn't last very long. And I'm like, shoot. But then when they came out with the putty bronzer, I was like, oh yeah, I'm also going to try that. And I was just going to buy this and it ended up, the PR package ended up going to my old house in Iowa, but my ex-husband did ship it to me and I was so excited. Like when he sent me the photo, <laughs> poor Mitch, <laughs> it's a good thing we're on good terms, but <laughs> I feel so bad because so much PR keeps going to Iowa and he just sends me a photo of like the box and sometimes I'm like, can you open it and show it? <laughs> and uh, then he just has to ship it over to me. But when he sent me this one, I was like, please, please. I was like, please, will you send that? I've been really wanting it so he got it over to me quickly i can't find the cream bronzer that i'm using in particular i just cleaned my entire apartment because i have family coming on monday so i cleaned my whole apartment which means now i can't find anything this is why i don't clean this is why i just always have stuff out in the open because i know where everything is i couldn't find my printer earlier my print my printer it's huge it's a big old printer i was like what how how many places could my printer be? I put it in my like front hallway closet. Why? I don't know. So I don't know where my particular um, putty bronzer is from e.l.f. So that's why this one looks unused because because it is. This is just for demonstrative purposes. I took it out of a giveaway box. Uh, but like same thing with the putty bronzer. And I have a demonstration on my Instagram with it. And it just, it picks up my foundation. It doesn't blend. It just kind of like looks kind of like stripey. It doesn't stay. It. I'm super bummed about these because I really, really wanted to like them. And you know, they're elf, they're more affordable. What are these, like $4, $7? I don't know, they're under $10. So they're more affordable. So it's not like I would like wasted money if I would have purchased them myself, but still everything adds up. Like I keep a spreadsheet of how much I spend on makeup every year because a percentage of that can get written off percentage of that we don't just get to like write off makeup and it's like we never purchased it uh and i see how much money i spend on makeup every year and it's a lot so every little bit adds up and unfortunately i just i don't think that these are good this stuff is a product that i was curious about trying but it's not something i'm comfortable with or i really knew what i was doing so i was really glad to receive it in pr so i could try it out again without spending my own money on it and once again it is from a more affordable brand but like i said every little bit does add up. If you go out to eat every single day, it's going to add up. If you buy a Starbucks coffee every single day, it's going to add up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've put an ear cuff in, which I like never do. And I keep like wondering if it's staying in. It is. Okay. I never wear my hair up, but I just have my hair in a ponytail. I don't know why. This is what I was feeling today. I don't know. But this is from ColourPop and this is their Tinted Feather Effect Styling Wax. So I know that brow waxes are, <laughs> this looks terrible. I know that brow waxes are really big. I see a lot of different tutorials with them and people using them and people recommending different things. I'm not the best at doing brows. I, I don't feel like I'm particularly having a great brow day today, whatever it is, what it is, it's just eyebrows. So I've been wanting to try out this trend, but I've been really nervous for it. And I, when ColourPop came out with this, I was like, I don't know, should I buy it? Because it is ColourPop, so it's more affordable, so it's not a huge deal if I don't love it. But then they did send it in PR, and I immediately started trying it. Now, first of all, I was doing it wrong. And you guys pointed that out to me, which thank you so much. I really appreciate having a loyal Sam Squad. Like, you guys would tell me if I had something in my teeth. Do I? I usually check my teeth before the beginning of the videos. No, I had a berry smoothie earlier, so there was like, everything was in my teeth, okay? Like you guys will tell me, you would tell me if I had it in my teeth, you, you guys would let me know in a nice way. So I had mentioned that it wasn't working well for me and someone, a couple people commented and they said, are you spraying either the product first or um, your like spoolie first and I, with a setting spray? And I was like, 
no because when i talked about it I just like kind of mentioned it offhand because i had used it and i was like i don't think my brows look great and i was like i feel like nothing happens like i just run it back and forth and like nothing's happening and i was like oh i missed that part in all of the demonstrations that you're supposed to get get a little wet first and then go in with it and i will say after i did that i was like oh okay like i can see it something you know something's definitely happening but it's still not my favorite look it's something that it's, it's fine maybe if i'm just going to the pool or a water park <laughs> If I'm just doing something like that and I just want like a little, but I, I do have pretty defined brows as it is. They aren't super sparse. They aren't super thin. Like they're, they're brows. So a lot of times I don't need like a, a ton, a ton, but it's just not, it's just not my favorite. It's just not what I'm comfortable with. It's just not what I'm going to be reaching for a ton. I also don't feel like it lasts for a very long time. And then sometimes I do the whole rigmarole with putting this through my brows and then I still feel like I have to go in with a pencil and still almost like do my entire brow as I would have just with the pencil. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm going to keep trying. I also just got the one from Patrick Ta in PR, which I'm really excited for. And I got like the brow lamination pencil or pen or something like that. So I'm excited to try that out. I just, I feel like using a brow pencil is always going to be my favorite. Like I just can't get away from it. Another product. This one is a loose highlighter. Now loose highlighters are not my thing. Uh, they still aren't my thing. I used to not be as much into, you know, the liquid highlighters and I have one on today. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want you to check the description box because this is going to be, I have a couple things on my face that's a sneak peek to a haul. I also was hoping to have a haul up, but one of my packages got misshipped and is now just like going all around the United States. I don't know. It's, I don't know what's happening. Clothing order and a shoe order recently. And if those get to me before the makeup does, I might just do a collective haul because I placed an order from Sephora. So I have a couple things on my face today, including a highlight that I can't believe I bought, but it's a liquid highlight. Anyways, I kind of wondered if maybe with my makeup preferences changing, I was like, am I going to get into loose highlights? And I pulled out this highlight here from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Balm Loose Highlighter. So I pulled this out recently because I thought maybe like, oh, you know, like, let's see what's going on here. Let's see if I, if I will really enjoy it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a beautiful highlight. It's very, well, I am like, it's, it's, you're gonna see it on your face and I, I usually like more of a blending highlight like I feel like today's is a little bit too subtle for me but again we're kind of trying to be a little bit toned down so it's gorgeous I just don't like loose highlighters I don't like applying them I just feel like it's messy I feel I, I just I'm just I'm just not a fan I want to be a fan I'm just I'm not a fan I think this is one is this my only loose highlight in my collection it might be my only loose highlight in my collection I got this in PR which I was very surprised about um, it was the only thing that I've ever gotten in PR from Jacqueline Cosmetics. I, I, I was still excited when I got it and I was excited to try it out, but I'm definitely glad that I didn't purchase it because even though I tried once again thinking makeup preferences has changed, maybe I'll really like it. I still don't. Next up, once again, I went back and forth on if I should include this in the video because I don't want to come off as seeming ungrateful because that is not, if you, if you know me and if you follow me here on YouTube for a while or any of my other platforms, I speak about gratitude all of the time. A big part of launching my brand that I did, which is more on like the paper stationary side of things, uh, deals a lot with gratitude. And I, I'm, I don't want to start crying, but I'm so incredibly grateful for this career. And I was just talking to somebody about it the other night uh, here at the complex and they were just asking, you know, how did you get into it? And you know, what did you do? And I was like, you know, I started in 2009 as, as a blogger and no one believed in me. And, you know, so many people in, in my real life were like, this is weird. Why are you doing that? Why are you putting pictures of yourself on the internet? And there were so many times that I wanted to quit just because I got made fun of all of the time. And because it was, you know, working another job without any pay for years and years to create a blog and then to move to Instagram and then to move to YouTube. But I always loved it. It gave me a connection to people that I didn't feel that I could have in real life. And I'm, I'm so grateful for the opportunities that this career has given me and the life that I've been able to build because of it. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. So the last thing that I want to do in this video is come off as ungrateful. But again, I, I like to have conversations and I, I, I like to hear feedback. I, I'm always in my comment section. I'm always looking at all of your comments. I'm always resharing some of the funniest ones on my Instagram stories because 
Y'all are hysterical, okay? The I wanna talk about is this collection from Charlotte Tilbury. So I received this in PR and I was floored because I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I started purchasing this brand um, because of her lip products. I bought a lip liner first, then I bought a lipstick, fell in love with them, kept recommending them, somehow got on Charlotte's PR list. I get some incredible PR packages from her and now we've gone on to be like the best of friends and have girls nights, <laughs> okay? That's still a joke, but to get some of the packages that I get from Charlotte Tilbury will still just like stop me in my tracks to this day and I'm so grateful for them. But when she sent over the, oh my gosh, what, why am I blanking on what these were called? Uh, this collection, Hot Lips, her Hot Lips 2 collection. When she sent this over, I just, I, I just, I was so floored and I was so excited. And it's one of those that I still keep everything in their packaging because I thought it was so beautiful and I really want to uh, display it. I'm really excited for my family to come because I can actually like start to put my apartment together after I did the brand launch. I've been here for three months, but I knew I was launching this and I knew I was doing everything out of my apartment. So, I wasn't quite sure what to do with my space, but now with them coming and they can help me like hang things and like move things around. Uh, I re like this is something that I really want to display because I think that it's so cool. But a reason that I wanted to put it in this video is because, especially when I was first starting YouTube, I would see so many other influencers buying full collections, full lipstick collections, you know, full blush collections, and I just knew that I couldn't do it. You know, I just, I, I mean, I wanted to, and I wanted to fit in and I wanted to feel cool, but I knew that I couldn't go out and purchase 10 lipsticks at a time. And when Charlotte came out with this Hot Lips 2 collection, I saw people get it in PR and post videos about it. And I also saw people buy all of these lipsticks and these are expensive lipsticks. So to get them all, I just, was I just was so incredibly grateful, but I know that I would never be able to buy something like this for myself. Even now, I just, I know that I would not be able to do that because not every shade is one that I love. Not every formula is one that I love, but to be able to have these and it just, I don't know how to explain the joy. <laughs> I'm gonna start to cry again. I feel like it probably sounds so silly to say that looking at lipsticks brings me joy, but it's one of those things that there's these, there's these little things in life that I can look at and say, I have this because I worked hard. I have this because I didn't give up. You know, I received this because I kept going even when everyone made fun of me. And it's, I don't know, it probably sounds so silly, but looking at these lipsticks said that to me. <laughs> I feel like that might sound like super weird. But again, it's one of those things that like, I just, I know that I wouldn't have been able to purchase these all of myself. But I will say I love JK Magic. JK Magic is out of the packaging because I use this lipstick quite often. It's such a beautiful shade. It's my favorite from the collection and I, I, I do wear it really frequently. But again, I love the Charlotte lips. This is a collection that is just, it's so special to me, but I just, I know that I wouldn't have been able to buy it. So to receive something like this, ah! receive something like this feels really, really awesome. Okay, almost done. I have just two more items. I feel like this, at first I thought this video was gonna be really short and then I just kept thinking of more things and more conversations to have and I don't know. It just kept spiraling from spiraling from there. But next up, I have these palettes from ColourPop. These are in the Love Struck collection. And I decided to include these because I was really excited about them when they first came out. And I remember it was at a time where I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep getting PR from ColourPop. Um, I mean, I never really know if I'm getting PR from a brand or not, unless we get an email or something saying like, you're getting this, but then even sometimes that happens and the products don't show up. So it's like, you never really know. I try not to, you know, bank on receiving something. If it's something I really want, a lot of times I will just go out and buy it if I really want to have it. So when these were being released, I was like, I think I'm just gonna go buy those if I don't get them. You know, it's ColourPop, it's a little bit more affordable, but this was one where I was like, I might buy, I think it was five that came out. I think it was this five, right? That came out all at the same time. I have some other ones in front of me too. But I was like, maybe I'll just buy them all. And then I ended up getting them in PR and I was so let down by them. I was so bummed out because I was so let down and I wanted to love these so much, but they just didn't quite hit home for me. Uh, some of the shades are that matte with the microfine glitter in it, which I just don't love. Some of them have the pressed glitters, which I, I don't wear 
all that often i mean the color stories i thought were fun and i just i really wanted to love them but i just i didn't and i wanted to include ColourPop in here too because i do get a lot from ColourPop. ColourPop comes out with a lot of products they send out a ton of pr i feel like i i can't keep up with the brand and i can barely keep up with the pr that they send and it's like i'm grateful for it and i love to be able to review the products and i love to be able to try things out but it's just a lot so it's one of those that it's like i'm grateful to get the pr because there's there still happens to be a lot from ColourPop that i am very interested in like these new palettes that came out the ice cream collection i knew that i wanted those i was so excited when i got them in pr and i've been loving wearing waffle cone so you know there's certain items that i'm like yes 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 but then at the same time like it can just get overwhelming i don't know if, if any of that makes sense but I, I don't think i'm the first influencer to say that about ColourPop. so it's like i'm grateful i'm, I'm grateful for it because I don't feel that pressure to buy every single ColourPop release where I think if I wasn't on their PR, I would definitely be spending a lot of money on ColourPop because I've spent a lot of money on ColourPop. I wasn't always on their PR list. I've bought a ton from them myself. Um, so yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to bring up this collection, but just kind of ColourPop in general. Hopefully that made sense. And then the very last item I saved the best for last because this is where everyone's going to hate me. I'm sorry, but I tried again to love this, and I just, I, I, I don't know what we're seeing. The Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. People have loved this mascara for years and years. I bought it a while ago because I was like, okay, everyone talks about this. It's Essence and super affordable. Let's do it. And I bought it, and it was, like, it was just always so messy. It transferred all over me. It didn't do anything for my lashes, and I was like y'all tripping what are you what mm -mm. and then you know everyone mm, a toll free call is calling me toll toll free call is that like someone in jail i'm confused should i answer it no we're just gonna leave that be hopefully no one's in jail i do live in vegas now actually so tried it, didn't like it. You know, I mentioned it probably in a video of like makeup I hate that everybody loves and you know, everyone was mad at me. I'm sure there was a new Reddit thread about me and you know, it was very scandalous at the time. Well, I recently got a PR package from Essence and lo and behold, inside was the mascaras. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try it again because you never know. Let's give things a second chance, except your toxic exes. Let's give things a second chance. So I pulled out the mascara and I tried it again. This was all over my face in like five minutes. And I didn't even put it on my bottom lashes at first because I was like, I don't, let's ease into it. I just put it on my top lashes. It was still on my face. What is this? I've tried it now like three more times and it's just, it's ever, it's, it's, there's no chance, especially in the Vegas heat. There's no chance this mascara is staying on my eyes. And it, like I said, it does nothing for my lashes. It does nothing for them. Oh yes, because I even wore it once to prep false lashes since I've been wearing some false, false lashes recently. I still got mascara on me, even underneath the false lashes. Like, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Why I don't, I can't figure out why everyone loves this mascara so much. Like, have you tried the Maybelline Sky High? Try that one. Try that one and let me know what you think. But once again, sent it in PR this time. I gave it a try and I'm like, well, I'm glad I didn't go out and buy it again myself because we just don't get along. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We just don't get along. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I really wanted to have some different conversations in here and I'm just going to be really curious to get your comments, but I hope I said a few things that maybe resonates with you or makes sense to you, or maybe I gave you something different to think about. I still hope that you enjoyed this video. I just thought it would be a fun one to talk about some makeup that I'm glad I didn't purchase myself and, you know, share my gratitude that I am really grateful for being able to receive these products to review and hopefully help you. You know, I, I do hope that my reviews help you to decide what to buy, what not to buy, or gives you a little bit of, of insight and input onto these products that then you are going to go spend your hard earned money on. Um, because I love my job. I love my career. I've always wanted to be a reviewer. That's why I started blogging in 09 with books, beauty products, etc fitness dvds i mean i was reviewing everything back then uh so yeah grateful for this but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give this video a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video